What's up YouTube, it's Smart for Kentucky, back with another video, back with a mail day video here. I've got some uh, pickups that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks. Got some cheap slabs here that I bought from Myco on his uh, live sale, and some 1948 Bowman with a Hall of Fame rookie card there on the front. You uh, guys might notice who that is, if not, you have to wait until I tell you who it is. Until, uh, But the uh, first thing I want to do is open this box. This is a lot of cards that I bundled with the seller on the internet. I got 13 cards. Um, some of them from the 1970s, some of them were 1980 Hall of Fame rookie cards. Um, one of them is a uh, Bowman Chrome card. Get this box open. I'll share it with you. There we go. Maybe. Good lord. Put the tape to this box. There we go. Alright, so this is the brick of cards he sent me. Um, so I'm going to show you what I paid before I show you the cards actually. So uh, I got 13 cards for $110 plus shipping and tax, so it ended up being like 120 bucks. So we got basically less than uh, $10 a card in all of these. Um, so there's some good deals out there right now happening, which I'm very happy to see for the collectors out there, for the flippers and sellers, not so much. We're gonna have to uh, liquidate some inventory and Maybe take some losses, but they made a pretty good amount of profit when everything was going crazy. So yeah, this is the uh, brick. This is the first Bowman Chrome card I was telling you about. This is uh, Anthony Rizzo. Pretty cool card there. There we go. Get these over here for a second. So yeah. 120 bucks total, shipping, tax, and everything. 13 cards. First card, Anthony Rizzo, rookie. Her first Bowman Chrome. Super slick card. Did not have this one in my collection. Um, super happy to have that. Uh, 1980s rookie cards. You guys all know I'm a sucker for those. Um, Tony Gwynn. Donruss, rookie. Tony Gwynn Fleer rookie. Tony Gwynn Tops rookie. All these are in pretty good shape. I mean the the tops is, you know, it's off centered left to right and uh top to bottom, but um I mean it's not like I'm gonna grade this card or anything, but just super cheap. You know, he had these all listed really, really cheap, and then uh I asked uh, said well there's multiple cards I want let's do a bundle deal and got them a little bit cheaper not a whole lot cheaper because he had great deals on these like for instance this he had listed this for eight bucks he had all three of those Gwens for eight bucks a piece and I think he had the Rizzo for eight dollars um, he had the Boggs 83 Boggs for eight bucks he had a Roger Clemens rookie that I picked up that one was listed for five it's off-centered but Still, I'm a sucker for these 80s rookie cards. Uh, here we go, 1978. Nolan Ryan, good looking card there. With the uh, Los Angeles Angels. Oh, I didn't notice this. Didn't not, it's got some writing on the back. That's not good. So, hmm, that's not good. Uh, maybe I didn't look at the back of that card when I bought it. That's my bad. Uh, 1973 Nolan Ryan. This is a cool card, though. No writing on the back of this one. Just some soft corners and off-centered. But, cool card. Really like that one. Also picked up a Greg Nettles rookie. He had this one listed for five. 1969. Cool card there. 1969 Al Kaline, Mr. Tiger. Cool, really, really cool card there. 
no creases in any of these cards, which I really like. I don't like creases in my cards. A little service issue there. It looks like maybe some ink or something on that. T. Don't know, but good looking card. I really like it. Um, let me get it back in the sleeve. Nineteen sixty nine Harmon Killebrew number three seventy five. Good looking card there. I really like this card. It's next to Brooks Robinson, nineteen seventy one. Good looking card. Seventy ones are known for the black border and shipping and but uh, not bad at all. First 71. I just like that, that photo. Very nice card. And the last card in that lot I got was a 71 Bob Gibson. Got a little ding in the quarter down here, but super sweet card. Really like that one a lot. And then the next cards that I want to show you guys are some um, 1948 Bowmans that I picked up off of eBay. Um, picked up this lot for, it was 103, can you, where is it at? There it is. $103, 115 total with tax and everything. Um, but there's uh, seven cards in this lot. And what's cool about it is some of them are the blank backs. So, um, there's a 48 Bowman. Um, and this is uh, Walker Cooper. But you see it's got the, uh, the writing on the back like it's supposed to. But there are some in this lot that don't. Here's another one. Buddy Rosar. Philadelphia Athletics catcher. Pretty cool card there. Cincinnati Red pitcher. Uh, Ewell Blackwell. Here's a Yankee with no back. Blank back. So I don't know who that is. And I don't know how rare these blank back cards are. Hopefully, uh, one of the vintage guys watches this video, uh, like uh, Blue Jacket 66, and maybe he can tell me or someone let me know how rare or if they're rare at all to have the 48 Bowmans with no backs. Johnny Lindale, that's his name. Uh, got an Atlanta Brave, or who is this? Is this a, no, this is not Atlanta Brave. I'm a dumbass. That's uh, Oakland. I guess that's an open. Um, and then he did say in the description some of them had some writing on, writing on them. I don't know if you can see that right there. Someone wrote 31 on it. But the card that intrigued me was this Enos Slaughter. Enos Country Slaughter rookie card. 48 Bowman. Uh, really cool card. Blank back. So um I'm going to send this one in to get graded. Hopefully it's real. Hopefully it's not a fake. Hopefully it's authentic. Uh, the, the seller is a legit seller, so it should be. But uh, don't know a whole lot about the blank back 48 Bowmans, if they're rare, if they're not. If you guys know, please leave me some comments down below. Um, and then last but not least, I'm going to show you guys some modern slabs that I got from Myco. I was super happy to get because at the card shows here lately couldn't find any cheap slabs but now with the economy turning and the people getting out of the hobby I'd be able to find some cheap slabs again so uh, all these slabs I think ran me I think it was either 50 or 55 I can't remember what me and Michael Michael settled on but it was a great deal um, got this 2018 Topps Chrome Ozzy Albies rookie card and a PSA 9 Sweet card there. Look for big, 
big things from him in the future. Got a Mojo 2018 Vladimir Guerrero Jr. card in a PSA 8. Good looking card there. Picked up a Jazz Chisholm rookie. I like I like Jazz Chisholm a lot. I think uh, he's got lots of potential. He's got that star buzz around him, that star quality around him. He's been on MLB Network late here lately, those flashy suits and clothes. But this is a uh, CSG in an eight and a half. CSG's got a good looking slab. Picked up a Cody Bellinger in an SGC9 rookie card. This is the Chrome update. Pretty cool card. Hoping that Cody can find his rhythm again and wish he could in this postseason. You never know. And then last but not least, Michael had a card from the 80s that I had to pick up. Tops traded Greg Maddox rookie in an eight and a half. Super sweet. There goes my computer. Um, very cool card to have. But uh, that's all I got this time, guys. Please uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite card is that I picked up. Uh, if anyone knows anything about those blank back Bowmans, let me know. Um, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, like my content, please give me a sub. And uh, keep on collecting.